All right, so here we're gonna review of the Soundrhyme DTE 500. This is a 2EST, 2BA, one dynamic driver set by Soundrhyme. It retails for $460, so let's get into this. Um, as you can see, uh, the foam, little, they're usually like a foam cutout here that has the IMs inserted into it, but I got these used. There was no foam cutout, so it's, we're just gonna not have that. I'll just take these out here. And uh, you can open this up here. You're gonna be welcomed with the case. Take this out. You can get this box out of the way. All right, you got this case here. This case is fine. It's um, it's a better case than I'm used to for this like kind of form factor, but it is a little bit thick. But this will still fit in your pocket, okay? So you know what? I'm fine with it. Anyway, let's open this up. You get the tips which actually these tips are from the uh, Pen-On 10th edition. I, and you may be wondering why on earth are you putting that in here then? It's because I looked at the pictures and these really look like the exact same tips as Pen-On uses in their IEMs. So I'm hoping they're the same. I don't know. I tried it with these and I tried them with spin fits. I preferred the spin fits that I use on like all my IEMs because I get good fits with those. And it sounded better for me. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Got the cable. It is, and you got like, you know, a silica gel packet, and yeah, we can get rid of this now. Alright, it is a modular cable with um, these interconnects here, and they are sadly right angle, and I hate right angle, and they have no excuse for it, because it's just a regular, you know, what do you call it, like, detachable thing. It does have like a little bit of a spring-loaded system, which is interesting, I don't know, oh, I should probably bring it closer to the camera. You know, so it's an interesting way. I, I don't know if I like this more than just a normal thing. If this was straight, uh, like a straight angle, I'd like it more. But it's fine. I have no problems with it. It's does snap in place nicely. And overall, the cable quality is really nice. I like this. It's very smooth, very silky. Everything seems good quality. Metal connectors, all that. It's pretty good. I like this cable. No issues there. Let's get that off to the side. Alright, let's talk about now the look, fit, and all that. So, here is the set. I got it in silver. And I have to say, these are pretty overly flashy. Almost, you know, gaudy looking kind of thing to me. Uh, I will say, it's not as bad in person that it does look on camera. And what I saw from pictures, it does look a little bit more toned down than it does um, on, on photos and videos. But it's still pretty flashy so i mean if you like it you like it if you don't like it, you don't like it i can imagine this look being very polarizing i am personally not a fan but some people may like it i don't know all right so the fit the comfort it's fine uh i'd say comfort's a little bit below average to me but for a tribrid it's okay uh let's talk about now sound with these uh i like the sound but it was not as good as I liked it with the spin fit, so we'll talk about spin fit sound for the most part of this video. All right, so sound, let's go. Um, also, build quality, it's just a resin shell, nothing special, it's like you know, the normal thing. So, every, everything almost has this build. So, let's talk about sound now. So, go lows, mids, highs, all that. So, the bass is the most, you know, what let's talk about the bass at the end. Let's go, let's go mids and then highs first. The mids are incredible. I love the mids on this set. One of the best aspects of the set. It's really, really just amazing for the price. It's the best I've heard below 600, I think. It, it, I am going to be bringing in the SA6 Mark II for comparison and the uh, QA Margarita that I just reviewed last week. If That's what this should be scheduled for anyway. So, and this has better vocals than both of these, in my opinion. I think it has very, very nice vocals. I will say it is more distant than I would like compared to these. These are a bit closer, but like it's not too f distant. It's it's not forward in any way, though, in my opinion. It's not the focus of the sound signature, but it is very high quality. I love the mids. Very clean, clear, detailed, non-fatiguing, smooth, natural really amazing i was really shocked by the quality of the mid-range and the vocals going into the highs this is the best implementation of est drivers i have heard almost in general 
Uh, I'd say there's like, you know, a few in the really, really top brackets, like multi-thousand dollar IEMs that I've heard better EST, like, you know, um, ultra highs. But for under a thousand, I think this is the best treble to me that I have ever seen. Period. Full stop. That's it. Like, this is the best treble I have heard under a thousand dollars. Because it has detail and shine and like, and, and just, it's got that sparkle but at the same time, it's not stabbing my ears with it. It's smooth yet clear and has great extension. It's not roll off, but it's still comfortable. I have rarely ha seen that trait in IEMs for me, especially underneath a thousand dollars. So that's really special. I think this really is some of the best treble I've heard in just under a thousand dollars. So if you're a treble head that is also doesn't like to have too sharp of a treble, but you like really can appreciate some nice, clean, detailed treble. This has that. Now we're going to go into the bass. This is, there's a reason why I chose this last. It sounds really great, these IEMs, right? Then we get to the bass. This ruined the set for me. I like this set overall, but the bass is just terrible, honestly. And the worst part is this set emphasizes the bass the most out of all the frequency ranges in the set. Uh, it's just, I don't know why they did this. The treble was done so well, the mid-range was done so well, okay? So, it, and, and they have to know it, like, come on. And so why not make those the focus of the track? Instead, they made the worst part of the set the focus of, you know, the signature. It's an emphasized bass, not too emphasized though. I'd say it's got the same amount of emphasis as the Dunu with the switch turned on. So you may be thinking, okay, well, it's not extremely high, then what's the problem? It's the quality is so low, and then because it's emphasized, it's distracting. Like, it has a very muddy sound, really weak hit, almost no texture, no detail on the bass. It's a really poor bass, and you may be wondering, okay, well, maybe that's because you're using spin fits, not the... Not the tips that, you know, usually come with it. Nope, nope. I tried many different tips. All weak quality bass. Poor detail. Poor, like, weak, sloppy, muddy bass. And it's the focus of the track. The reason I liked my sp the my size spin fits over the stock tips, or what I think is the stock tips, um, was mainly because the spin fits lowered the bass more. These had more bass than the spin fits did. So, sorry, I have like a little bit of a stuffed nose. Um, so that, that made it more bearable and like, and, and I, I would like the sound with this also if the bass was better, if the bass was higher quality, the bass is, is garbage, it's garbage and it's frustrating because I like the set overall because the mids and the highs are fantastic for this price, unreal actually for this price. So it's just frustrating. It's like, why can't I, I just want to make me want to rip out the, the freaking dynamic driver out of this and I'll stuff the BAs from this in here, anything. Just like, it, any bass can be better than this. I, I can take the dynamic driver out of a Kiwi Ears Cadenza and I prefer that in here to do the bass than what's in this set. So, that kind of pisses me off. But anyway, I, I mean like that's pretty, oh yeah, let's talk about um, soundstage and imaging, kind of got distracted. Soundstage wise, they're good, around average, I'd say the same as the Margarita, maybe a, a little bit bigger than the Margarita, just like around around here. Imaging is good, the same as the Margarita. You know, pretty good, just average. Nothing amazing, but not, not any problems at all. Good in the price range. Maybe a little bit above the price range, because I keep forgetting this is not a $500 set or $500 set. It's it's $460. So at this price point, I, I'd say a little bit above average. Um, I'm trying to think anything else I want to cover here. I mean, overall, that's pretty much it. I mean, compared to this, as I said... Texture of the bass. I, I think that the, the vocals on this are better than the vocals on, on here and on here. Maybe the female vocals on the on the margarita can kind of compete every once in a while with this, but this is still gonna probably win out. And so it's frustrating. It's like it's, it does everything so close to perfect, but the bass just ruins the rest. And when I'm using these, I oh I can't help but notice it. And so I, I don't like using the set. Uh that's pretty much it. Uh can I recommend these? Well, if you know you can live with that problem in the bass, then yes, I can recommend them. Otherwise, if you know that's going to bother you, I cannot recommend the set. Well, uh, that's about it. See ya.